Well, last year, the presidential budget proposed to eliminate funding for a program that helps lower income people obtain legal representation. Well, Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez is live this morning at the courthouse with how this budget cut, what, what it really entails. Hi, good morning, Jen, and good morning, South Texas. Not only will this 2019 budget cut hurt low income Texans, but also the programs that help them as well. Lone Star Legal Aid, Legal Aid of Northwest Texas, and Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid all receive grant funding from the Legal Service Corporation, which is the independent nonprofit established by Congress to provide funding for civil legal aid to low income Americans. Uh, cutting the legal aid, which is already down to very, very little in comparison to other budgetary considerations that Congress has, uh, would cripple. Uh, the legal aid that is being provided to the senior citizens, to veterans, to those with mental deficiencies that are already uh, desperately needing funds. For more than 40 years, the United States have provided funds for legal aid services at more than 800 locations. Uh, over 50,000 cases were addressed last year. If that funding was to be cut, uh, those people would be denied. Uh, having their day in court, and uh, the uh, Fifth Amendment, Sixth Amendment, and Seventh Amendment of the United States um, offer you the rights to remain silent, to have effective counsel, and to have a right to trial by jury. Now, President Donald Trump's proposed budget for 2019 is trying to cut the $385 million program, saying this puts more control in the hands of the state and local governments that better understand the needs of their community which in the final analysis it are, are pennies on the dollar, less than pennies of the whole entire budget. And if you deny somebody their access to court when they have no money at all, you're denying them justice. Again, if this proposal goes through, it will affect a lot of people. Reporting live from the U.S. County Courthouse, Roland Rodriguez, Chris, 6 News. All right, thank you, Roland. Well, the